Hey, what's happening? It's Paul Ingram with Collie Center. I'm out here in my dojo for the day. Check this out. I've got the fog machine on. It feels very, very mystique out here. Super, super cool. Give a thumbs up to this video right now just for, just for the setting today for my dojo. And make sure to grab your double sticks. I got some double stick movements that I want to share with you. Great, practical, functional double stick movements that you can start working on and incorporating in your Kali practice right now today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet because we're training Kali all the time here, my friends. And hit that bell so you don't miss any upcoming training videos. And go back through my thousand. I got over a thousand videos here on the YouTube channel. And if you ever want to train further with me, head over to KaliCenter.com. Check out my online school and my further online training materials. All right, let's get to today's training. All right, so today I got a little series of drills for you to start practicing, working on getting in your arsenal on your double sticks, two swords. And if you want to tr trade these out for training bolos, that works as well. All right, so our first one right here, we're going to start off in this open chamber position. This is one of the most powerful positions that we can uh, fight in, in double sticks or double swords, is our open position right here. So from here, we're going to strike down our angle one. Then we're going to come back up on our angle four. So we're basically riding on the same line. We're gonna bring this over and then we're gonna cut on what's called a reverse angle two. We call that the reverse. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the left-hand side. Strike down the one, up the four, and then a reverse or that reverse two. So again, one, four, reverse two. One, four, reverse two. Now you're not necessarily gonna use it like, you know, in this particular manner but we want to start training these movements and start building this uh, coordination up. Let's go ahead and do a couple reps together. Nice and easy, nice and slow right here as we're looking out into this beautiful mist, beautiful fog. So from here, right hand first, down the one, up the four, reverse that number two. Down the one on the left hand, up the four, and then the reverse. Let's do it two more times together. Right hand, left hand, right hand and left hand okay the second drill is identical it's very very close instead of going diagonal on that four we're going to go horizontal so we're going to strike down the number one then we're going to come across a low horizontal about like midline horizontal and then that reverse same thing on the left hand come down the one across that horizontal and then the reverse okay so right here so you're gonna notice that there's three movements per side, six movements here. So that's the only difference between the first two drills is one's diagonal on the four and the second one is horizontal on the four, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at the third drill now. This one's got a little extra movement. We're gonna be striking on all four diagonal strikes. Let's check it out. Starting with the right hand, we're going to go into what's called a circular one this time. Coming up the angle three, then we're going to come up the angle four, and then hit that reverse, that reverse two again. Same thing on the left side, striking that circular one, coming up the angle three, up the angle four, and then reverse that reverse number two right there. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four strikes on the third drill. One, two, three, and four right there. So right hand and left hand. Let's take it nice and slow in the beginning. Okay? Let's give it another uh, viewpoint right here. Right there. And right there. Let's do a couple of these together nice and slow. From here, starting with the right hand, we got our circular one. Coming up the angle three, up the angle four, and reverse. Same thing on the left hand side, circular one, up the angle three, up the angle four, and reverse. Again, right hand, one, three, four, and reverse. Left hand, one, three, four, and reverse. It doesn't matter which foot is forward right now. Let's do another one with the left foot forward. Okay. We're just building that coordination up right now. Learning these movements, learning these patterns. Okay. Spend a little bit of time with each one of these three drills. Then 
Let's go ahead and put them together into a little mini kind of Carenza type of flow. Something that you're gonna notice as you're working these, these three drills, as you're starting to build speed, as you're starting to increase power, there's really little to no openings for your opponent to get you. Practice these drills, get them down, master them, and then we'll come back at another point throughout this year and uh, I'll show you some of the applications with these exact movements. You can also practice these movements with your single stick and your single sword as well. These exact same drills. You would just be isolating one side of the body. So take these three drills, practice them, master them, explore, discover, have fun with them. And I'll catch you back here next time for some more Kali training. Check out that dojo.